Hey guys, it's Tanika and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another speed reviews video for you. So I love to give you updates on all the new makeup I've been trying out. I have a bunch of stuff here that I have been testing over the last couple of months and today I'm going to give you my quick and speedy reviews. <laughs> If you enjoy these videos, I do have a few others that I will link down below in the description box for you. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. I'm really hoping to get to 7,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you're not subscribed, help a girl out. First up, I have some setting powders. This here is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder and I picked it up in the shade Light. Now this one is all right. I do find that the shade is a little bit too yellow for me. You can definitely see that it has a yellow tinge when I use it. It is a really nice lightweight powder though. It's not too chalky. Sometimes with more affordable powders they can be a bit dry but I don't find this is the case with this one. I was expecting it to have a bit more of a glow to it considering it's called Halo Glow. If you watch my channel, you would know that the Models Prefer Mineral Finishing Veil Powder is my absolute favorite, and that leaves a beautiful sheen to the skin. And I was expecting a similar thing with this powder, but it's just not there. It does set the makeup in place very well, so it does do its job, but I don't think it's one that I will repurchase once I'm finished. Next, I have the Revolution Bake and Blot Powder, and this is in the shade Translucent. First thing is that it is a fabulous fair shade so that's a bonus but it doesn't really do its job of setting makeup in place. I found that within an hour or so I could see that my foundation was already starting to separate and I'm just not here for that. I need a powder that is going to set my makeup in place all day and unfortunately this just didn't do that so I wasn't a fan. Next I have the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Pressed Powder and oh, this is a winner, oh my god. So I first saw Taylor Wynn use this in a video and she's very picky with her powders especially when it comes to under her eyes and she loved this so I knew it was going to be fabulous. It originally came to Australia at Priceline but Priceline only has two shades. What's that about? And then Chemist Warehouse released it and they have more shades in the range. So I picked up 120 Fair Claire. I have already hit pan on it. I freaking love this. So the shade is great for my fair skin tone. It sets my makeup in place all damn day. Like it ain't going anywhere. What I love about it is that it's not super chalky. It does feel quite hydrating and lightweight on the skin for a pressed powder. It does add a little bit more coverage and it leaves your face looking so smooth and flawless. I feel like it adds this airbrush finish that not a lot of powders can give. So I freaking love this. I'm waiting for it to go on sale at Chemist Warehouse again so I can pick up like five more. And also, how bloody cute is the packaging? Like, come on. It's in this like clear, transparent, compact with the baby pink. It is just beautiful and I'm obsessed. Obsessed. Next, I have another one by Revolution and this is the Reloaded Highlighter in the shade Just My Type. First things first, how beautiful does it look in the compact? Look at that, just stunning. Now this I do really like and for a drugstore highlighter, it's definitely one of the best ones that I've tried. Again, another recommendation from Taylor Wynn. Freaking love her. I find that it leaves a metallic finish, but it doesn't accentuate your pores. Some metallic highlighters can be a bit too harsh and they just show everything underneath. This just does not do that. You still get that beautiful glow and the shade is stunning as well and works very well for my fair skin tone. Let me just swatch it on my hand there. Look at that glow. It is just beautiful. It's very soft and smooth on the skin and I really love it. So if you're after an affordable highlighter, I would definitely recommend this one. It doesn't feel chalky or powdery at all and it's a long lasting glow as well. That's what I find with some drugstore highlighters because they are a bit powdery, the glow doesn't last on your skin. But this, it does. 
Next, I have the Savvy Healthy Glow Mist. I have been all about glowy setting sprays lately. I just think they leave such a beautiful sheen to the skin. And especially when I need my makeup to be long lasting, I don't want to go for glowy base products because they're not as long lasting on me. So finishing off my makeup with a glowy spray still gives me that beautiful fresh look I'm after while also having long lasting makeup. But anyway, this spray is really beautiful. I didn't have high hopes for it because it's like real cheap, but it says it's a lightweight hydrating facial mist that leaves the skin with a healthy glowing look. And I absolutely agree. It leaves a beautiful glow. It's not full of glitter. It's just a nice, I feel like it's a little bit not oily. I feel like oily is a bad way to describe it, but it just leaves that beautiful sheen on the skin. It just makes the skin look less powdery and more healthy. I am really, really impressed with this. The spritz on it is a bit savage, like it's pretty cheap, so that's not the best, but the product inside the bottle is lovely. If you do have oily skin, maybe steer away because as I said, I don't want to describe it as oily because it doesn't leave your face feeling greasy, but there's definitely a little bit of oil in there. I, I probably just absolutely butchered this description, but I hope you get what I'm trying to say. If you do have more oily skin, I would recommend this one here by L'Oreal, the Shake and Glow. This leaves a beautiful sheen without the oiliness. And also the Maybelline Glass Glow. If you've tried that, I think that the Savvy is similar, where it has that more oily finish. Anyway, I'm going to stop because I feel like it's just getting worse and worse the more I keep talking. Next, I have the Soul Face and Body Bronzing Balm. And I picked this one up in the shade Light. Now, it's definitely a lot warmer than what I was expecting, but I freaking love this formula. It is so easy to apply and I've really been loving it with my new Eco Tools brush lately. Using a duo fiber brush is a beautiful way to apply this bronzer. It's not patchy at all. It doesn't pick up any product underneath. It applies beautifully over your liquid foundation or powders as well, which I really like in a cream product because I do like to powder my skin. So having a cream product that applies well over powder is a bonus for me. I'll just give it a little swatch on my hand so you can see. There is quite a lot of warmth to it. That's a pretty heavy swatch though. I really only go in with a very small amount. It builds up really well and it lasts all day. I absolutely love this. If you are doing an order from Colourpop and want to try out a cream bronzer, I definitely recommend this one. There is a like one shade fairer than this as well, but it still looks quite warm. It's just lighter. I do wish they were a bit more cool toned, but look, you can't have everything. Another liquid product that I have here is the Milani Cheek Kiss liquid blush. Now, I do like the formula of this blush. I just have the wrong shade. So I purchased this online and I didn't do a very good job. So this is the shade here. It's quite deep for my preference, but it is a very sheer and lightweight formula. If I blend this out on my hand, you can see how much it shears out. So I can still use it, but I feel like it does really deepen my makeup and I look a lot, I don't know, I just don't prefer this shade. I would definitely like something that's a bit more peachy or coral, but besides the shade mix up, it's a really beautiful formula. Again, it applies over liquids and powders. I do like to use this brush here by Sigma. Again, duo fiber. It is the contour and blush brush. You could even use the Eco Tools brush as well. It doesn't dry extremely fast, so I love that you have some time to just work with it and build that color up. I definitely want to pick up a new shade because I think it's a really nice formula. Another cream product that I have been loving is this Rimmel Glow Stick, and this is in the shade Bubbly. Now, I've only had this for like a week, but I am already obsessed with it. 
So it's just a cream stick highlighter, but this shade and the formula is beautiful. So I've just swatched it on my hand there. Look at that glow. <gasps> this is a pride, a pride, applied pretty heavily. So let me just blend that out a bit more. I just love that beautiful sheer glow that it gives. The shade is perfect for my fair skin. As you can see, it's quite transparent. So it works really well and it has a beautiful glossy finish. I bloody love it. To apply, I just use the bum of my beauty blender, tap it on there, and then tap it onto my cheekbones. Again, applies very well over liquids and powders. It is just so beautiful. I've been eyeing it off for so, so long. I finally picked it up recently when Chemist Warehouse had a big half price makeup sale. I do have a haul video that I'll link down below if you haven't watched that already. But if you want to try out a cream highlighter, I would definitely recommend this one. It's affordable and it's freaking beautiful. Next, I have the ColourPop That's Tote Palette and I have been loving this. I know I've said this story like a thousand times already, but I was eyeing off the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. I am loving the cool tones lately, but it was pretty expensive. And then like the next day, ColourPop released this palette. So I went ahead and bought this one just to see how much use I got out of it. And I am loving it. These shades are just perfect. I found with a lot of cool tone palettes when I was browsing online, don't have a lot of lighter cool tone shades. They're all very deep. And although you do need a deep shade, I was more about the light ones. So I've been loving this. All the shimmers are absolutely beautiful. Definitely recommend if you want to dip into some cool tones. I did go into Sephora the other day though and went and had a little play with the Natasha Denona palette and <laughs> a part of me still really wants it. Ooh, I just don't know. Like, I don't know. It's just so pretty. Next, I have the Essence Lash Princess Mascara, and this is in the green tube. I asked you guys ages ago, like, what is the best Essence Mascara? There are so many, and this one definitely topped the list. I finally got my hands on it, and I've been using it for a while now, and I've got some thoughts. So, I'm wearing it today, and, like, my lashes look great. They're long, they're volumized, they look fabulous. I do really enjoy this mascara, but there are a few things about it that eh. I find that it's a bit clumpy. So this is what the wand looks like. I do prefer something that's a bit more like bigger. Let me show you like this one here, the Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift. See how it's bigger. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it, but I find with this wand, it does get a little clumpy on my lashes. So what I have to do is get a spoolie and just brush those clumps out. It works fine when I do that, but it's just like another step that I have to do. Then I go in with another layer and they just, they look great. I also find, I, is this a waterproof one? I don't think it is waterproof, but I find when I take it off at night, I'm still left with mascara under my eyes. Even though I use my oil cleanser, I then use my Bisu um, makeup remover cloth, and then I cleanse my face. When I get out of the shower, I still have some mascara under my eyes. Like, I know that's not that big of a deal, but just wanted to put it out there. At the end of the day though, I love the effect that it gives to the lashes, so I've been liking it. All right, well that's actually everything I have to talk about today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I love doing these quick reviews because I feel like, okay, I've told you what I think of these products, now I can either put them back in my drawer or get rid of them. I do already have a bunch of products here that I'm testing out that will be in my next quick reviews video. I've got some designer brands, the Skin Renew Foundation and the Matching Concealer. Today I tested out a bunch of W7 cosmetics, so I will have updates on that. I also have the new Maybelline Lifter Glosses that I will need to update you on. I have a bunch of BYS makeup that I released, released, I didn't release it, that I received recently. So 
If you love these videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you aren't already because there will definitely be more in the future. If you want to know what makeup I am wearing, I will have the video linked down below for you. That, that is all. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And as I said, if you're not subscribed, I would love it if you would join my family. I'm really hoping to hit 7,000 subscribers by the end of the year. If you aren't already, make sure you come and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I will have them linked down below in the description box. If you have any questions or any thoughts on the makeup I mentioned today, I would love to hear them. So leave me a comment down below. Otherwise, I hope you're all having a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.